So this is chapter 11, customary measurement. And before we start, let's take a really good look at a ruler. Okay. So you can see that on this side, we have customary measurement, you see inches. On this side, we have metric measurement, which will be the next chapter. So let's talk about our customary measurement. Between each large number is one inch. That's about the size of a paper clip. Then you can see one line that's mostly longer than all the others, except for the two lines on either end. And that is the halfway mark between our first inch and our second inch. So that is one and a half inches. And then you can see that it's divided up into four quarters. So there's a quarter, and there's a quarter, there's a quarter, and there's a quarter. So this would be one and a quarter inches. This would be one and a half inches. This would be one and three quarters inches. And that is our full inch, or two whole inches from here to here. So we have a whole inch, we have a half of an inch, and then the smallest unit you guys will need to use is a quarter inch. Okay. These little lines in here are eighths, eighths and sixteenths, but you guys won't need to worry about those. Okay, so let's take a look at our lesson now that we've analyzed our ruler. Okay, so customary units of length. Length is a measurement of a line between two points. Inch, foot, and yards are units that are part of our customary system. So um, this is what we use in the United States of America. Um, the metric system is what most of the rest of the world uses. So let's look at our first example. Example one says the actual size of a neon damsel marine fish is shown. There it is right there. So we have to measure how long is this fish to the nearest inch the nearest half inch, and the nearest quarter, the units of measure that I just showed you. Now, step one, it says compare the length to what you know about inches. Record that length on the table. So we're going to measure to the nearest inch, and you're going to line up your ruler, this line here, right with the tip of the fishy's nose, okay? And you can see that the tail comes to about right here, but which inch is it nearest to? Is it nearest to the one, or is it nearest to the second inch? So it is nearest to the second inch. So we're going to record two inches. And that's how you abbreviate inch, I-N. Now we're going to measure to the nearest half inch. Again, placing the ruler right on the tip of the fish's nose. The nearest half inch is halfway between one and two, and it would be right here. So to the nearest half inch would be one inch plus another half, so it would be one and one half inches. Again, we abbreviate IN. Now measuring to the nearest quarter inch. Again, we're lined up very carefully, we need to be precise. We have one whole inch, there's one quarter, there's another quarter, and there is our third quarter, and it is closest to the third quarter, so that would be one and three quarters inches. There we go. At the bottom of your paper, they do give us sort of um, some benchmarks. They say that an inch is about the length of a paper clip. They said a foot is about the length of a typical textbook. And then a yard is about the height of a chair. Okay, so keep those in mind. Now, for example two, we are going to choose the best estimate for the length of the caterpillar. So, you're going to sort of eyeball the caterpillar and go, hmm, well from here to here is about one paper clip, and from here to here is about two paper clips. So, 
your best estimate, your best guess. Since a caterpillar is small, so inches are better estimates than feet or yards. Since 20 inches is more than a foot and is too big, and we know it's not two yards because two yards is quite large, 20 feet is quite large, so we're working in inches. Okay, so the best estimate would be two inches. There you go. Good luck. Be precise.